We can make a report, but I wouldn't hold out much hope if he's been missing for this long. No, no, sorry, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I've just seen him today in Oxford. I also found this. He's pretending to be some kind of posh science expert, but he's not. He's calling himself Dr Chance. That's a lie. He's a property developer from Stoke. Miss Newman, is someone in immediate danger? Um, no. Is this not... man threatening to, to harm someone? No, not exactly. It's well, more like... Well, you know, I'm really sorry, but this isn't something that the police Could would... Could you just let me get to the point? Sorry. I'm really sorry. It's just the point I'm making. It's that he did things. When we were married, he got my dad and some of my dad's friends, folks from round where we lived, to invest in holiday homes in Florida. I invested too. He said it was the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, that we'd be rich beyond our wildest dreams, right? So, dad went all in with his accident compensation, his pension. Only then, the scheme hit some problems and we all had to give more money and more money. And Dad started taking all these loans out and Robbie was reassuring everyone that they'd get it back and that it would be in their account in the next few days. And that was when... When he disappeared. That must have been very difficult. I know this sounds... But when we got married... He was sort of like... Not the answer to my prayers, but... Before we met, I was like... Stuck at home helping my dad, because... Well, that's another story, but Robbie made this whole... Thing about how he was going to look after me. But it was all lies. He was just racking up more debt. And I'm still paying it off. And not just me. My mum and dad lost their house. Then they split up. We... We all... Loved Robbie. We trusted him. He was part of our family. How can you do that to people you love? How much do you have to hate your wife to leave her without even telling her? <laughs>